One thing about Fenty is they're gonna keep releasing the same shades over and over and over again, just in a new formula. But a lip liner, huh, scrap that. Y'all can go kick rocks asking about these doggone lip liners. You might as well stop asking about the lip liners and the album, because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Fenty video. It's been a long time. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute. We got another lip product. Another one. Y'all know if you've been here for a certain amount of time, you know, quite a while. You know this is what I live for. This is what I do. This is what makes my heart happy. But right now, me and Fenty are on the brink of a bad breakup. And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all from the very beginning of the video. I'm feeling a little sassy today, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of ranting towards the end of the video. So if you don't like to see that kind of stuff, stick around until I'm done with the swatches and then you better dip out of here, okay? You better get out of here. You better get out of here. You better get out of here. I am gonna call your boss. Come on, you don't have to do that. No. I am gonna call the owner of the company. Come on, just take it easy. If you're new to my channel, I love doing Fenty reviews. However, my love for Fenty is kind of, we're a little shaky right now. Our relationship is on the rocks. But for those of you guys that know me and know that I'm always true and honest with my reviews, stick around. I think you guys are gonna be happy to hear my opinions on a new product, you know? So yeah. So today I'm talking about the new Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. Fenty Icon Velvet, Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Say that five times fast and see if you can do it because I can I can barely get these words out. The packaging, I must say, the packaging looks good. I'm not mad at this packaging. What I really like about it is that the top is clear and it's got like this, I don't know if it's like a floating little Fenty Beauty logo in the top. It's so cute, it kind of looks holographic. And then there's like a little clear cutout so you can see the color through. Um, the packaging, I think the packaging is really pretty, it's sleek, and I guess I should mention the outer packaging, but nobody really cares about this, but here it is, okay? It's black, it has silver writing, there's that. I picked up three of the shades, they released five shades all together. They had two pink shades, two red shades, and one brown shade. But the shades that I ended up picking up was HBIC, this is the deeper of the two red shades that was released. Breadwinner, of course, the deep brown shade, because I, I love a good brown, and Riri. This is the deeper of the pink shades. I'm just gonna go ahead and start by saying that I miss the days when Fenty came out with more like innovative colors. Not that people are really wearing that right now, but like more color options. At this point, when I'm shopping for lipsticks, like I wanna see a color that's gonna make me be like, ooh, mm, that's gonna add to my collection rather than like just building a collection on things that I already have. On Sephora's website, this is what it says about the product. It's a liquid lipstick with head turning hues that stays while feeling plush and comfy. The formula type is a lipstick. The benefits is that it's long wearing. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which is lovely. This is like a velvet version of the Stunna Lip Paints. You guys are gonna hear all of my thoughts on um, this versus the standard lip paints towards the end of the video. But right now we're gonna go ahead and get into the swatches. Oh, I can't forget the prices, y'all. How could I forget to tell y'all how much it is? Like, what kind of review is that? These are $29 each. Keep watching the video so you can see all the swatches on my lips. Hopefully you guys will stay tuned to the end so you can hear my final thoughts. We're gonna start with the pink shade because that's lighter and I feel like it's gonna wipe off my lips a little bit easier. Let's start the swatches. <laughs> so I'm not rambling. <laughs> I got to swatch these in the store. And from what I saw in my swatch, these kind of seem like they get everywhere. I feel like this color is actually gonna be kind of not flattering on me without a lip liner, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna start with the pink shade, and this is in the shade Riri. Mmm. It glides on nicely. doesn't smell like anything and it went on really easy and really even so I do like I like how it feels so far and by the way my lips are dry AF and I think I need some hydration like I probably need to be drinking some water so I can like unparch myself that being said my lips feel they don't feel like any drier even though this is a dry formula but they don't feel like they're like getting much hydration either anyway like I said this color is not mm, 
This is not my shade, definitely not something I would go for, but as I'm looking at it, it just, it's looking a little familiar. It's giving uncuffed. Is that what this is called? Yeah, this is uncuffed, and I don't wear this, like ever. The color just doesn't do anything for my skin. It just makes me look like ashy and, ashy and unfortunate. That's what it makes me look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this with a lip liner just so we can get a better vibe and see how that pairs because I feel like that's what I would need to do to make myself look presentable wearing a lip shade like this. Just so y'all can see up close, this is what it looks like. It's not bad. It's just not my shade. Let me try to fix this up a little bit. I'm gonna wipe off some of this here and try to do a little doctoring up. And I usually like to do lip liner before I would put like a lip color like this on, but I'm just gonna go over the top. Okay, it's definitely not going on easy over the top. Hold on, I need to wipe this. All right, let me try this again. I feel like that took a lot of work to try to add it on top. It would have been much easier if I had done the lip liner first and then tried to blend the lip shade. It looks better with like a deeper shade on the outer rim and then the pink in the middle. Like, I would definitely go out like this. I like the formula so far. I can tell that the formula is not gonna dry down and be super matte. It's moving around my lips. If it reminds me of anything, I would say it reminds me of that, um, what was it, the Rare Beauty lip stain? That's what it's feeling like. And I don't feel like it enhanced any of my fine lines. It's cute, it's moving. So if you want something that's gonna stay put, I don't think this is your guy. She's not your girl. Overall, the formula feels very comfortable on my lips. I'm not mad at it. Just wish we would've had some different colors to pick from, you know? All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna do is HBIC. This is the deeper of the red shades. It kinda looks a little messy. I don't know if I like this clear business right here. I don't think I would wanna see that. Oh, well, you can't see it when you close it, but even when I open it up, like, they should've just kept all of this opaque. If I'm being honest, I kinda think I liked the other red a little bit more because it was more vibrant, but I wanted to try something new because I already got a red from Rihanna, like, we already have it, so I need to try something different. this shade. This is a pretty red. One thing we know about Fenty is they know how to do a good red, okay? We figured that out a long time ago. We know Fenty knows how to do a great red. The formula feels consistent from this shade to the last one. Great. But we gotta talk about the wand because I don't know. I feel like the wand is really, really good. I like the little angle that it has because when I was doing my lip line at the top, I used this side and I flipped it over and applied it that way just so it was more precise and I like the fact that it's not like super flexible and it's not bending all over the place because when the wands are kind of like bendy I feel like there's a lack of control and my lips are too big to be having you know mishaps I can't be going all out the lines too much because then I'm gonna look like nothing but clownery and foolery and we don't I don't do clownery and foolery but do y'all see the precision I was able to get this really good and precise Look at that. Fenty, hit me up for lip modeling if you want me to. I'm here, I'm available. I'm kind of feeling myself in the red, I'm kind of feeling myself in the red. Don't get distracted, Brianna, though, because you feel how you feel, but this is cute. I really like this. It's giving I need to be hit up for lip modeling because why didn't y'all have me on the campaign? The lips look too good. They're probably sick of my negative reviews, though. Oh. So I had to work really hard to get that last shade off. Yeah, that red one definitely stained my lips. I scrubbed my entire life away, trying to get that 
off of my lips. Wow. So lighting change. Y'all see that? Because <laughs> we're going into the deep territory right now. Next shade is the deep brown shade and this is called Breadwinner. And it also looks just like this shade, I'm just saying. But hopefully it's a little bit deeper because I really like this one, but it had to grow on me. When I first tried it, I felt like I looked like a chronic smoker. So hopefully this is a little bit deeper and it's gonna look richer on my skin tone, but we'll see. I love a good dark brown. Oh yeah, this, this is what I wanted the other one to be. I love that. Oh, I love the shade. Oh yeah. This is my kind of shade right here. This is right up my alley. Love a good dark brown. Mm. Mm. Anytime I put my hand like this and I do that, with my hand, and I turn my head to the side, you know I'm feeling myself. So yeah, this is, um, it's giving this. This is the kind of shade that'll make me put my YouTube voice on. I love wearing dark brown. It just makes me feel so pretty. It just is so rich in tone. <laughs> <laughs> what even was that? This is the shade of all shades. I love the shade. I love it. Now I haven't really been wearing dark brown shades as much all over my lips recently. Like I've been doing a lot of nude shades. I guess that's just like the trend right now. But I'm so sick of following trends. Like I need to get back to the things that make me ultimately happy. Not saying that nude lips don't make me happy because I love me a good nude lip, but like dark brown, like that's my thing and I haven't been doing it. Why? Formula's great, went on smooth. Every single one of these, went on with only one like I pulled it out and I applied it. I didn't have to go back in and keep dipping. I felt like the wand had like good saturation with the product on it. So all of that is good. If you want a product that's gonna stay put, this is not that girl, okay? She's gonna transfer. So if y'all wanna see the kind of transfer you're gonna get, like let's let me show you. See? I didn't left my lips behind. They're, they're all over here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Stunna Lip Paints. We need to we need to bring her into the equation because I, I feel away right now. I feel like Fenty right now is like, they're kind of irritating me a little bit, you know? I really want to support the brand, want to be here for it, but lately, I'm just not. I'm not into it. I feel like they're not coming out with anything that's like really catching my eye. I'm just kind of sick of Fenty releasing the same thing in different forms. But there's just no excuse for these colors to be so similar. We started off with Mademoiselle, lip mattes and they had a ton of different shades everybody had something to pick from they weren't necessarily wearable shades but there were a couple in there here and there you know so so my problem right now is that i love stunna lip paints okay i was i was one of those i love these the only thing i didn't like is the smell because these things stank but i like how they wear i like the applicator i like the packaging and we have not seen a new shade of stunna lip paint since i can't remember when why do they keep starting stuff and not finishing it? What is that? The slip shines. When's the last time we got a new color of the slip shines? Like where are the new shit? Why do we keep coming out with new things in the same color? What? Y'all gotta make this make sense for me. Cause I called Rihanna. She's not picking up the phone for me. I don't know if they had like a change in direction, like do they have a change in leadership at Fenty? Something has happened and I need them to get back on track. I'm frustrated. Let's just see what they've come out with lately. Recently they've come out with this Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick, which I guess is a play off the Icon Matte Lipstick that they came out with that had that ridiculous packaging. We've got Gloss Bomb Heats they've come out with. We have Fenty Beauty Pout Sickle Lip Stains, Gloss Bomb Ice, a bunch of, a bunch of lip products. And, and, and none of them are lip liners, okay? Let's talk about that. How many times are we gonna ask them for lip liners? It's how I feel about Rihanna's album. We can pack it up. We want the lip liners, we can't get those. We want better eyeshadow formulas. Ain't seen it yet. We haven't gotten a powder blush yet and it's just a ton of different lip. Anyway, let me shut up. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the swatches on my hands so y'all can see the comparisons between lip shades. And I love, I love this red. I love this red, but it stinks. This is uncensored. 
I want to say this is probably what she was wearing at the Super Bowl or she was probably wearing the other red in this formula and I did think that was beautiful. This is the HBIC and then let's go ahead and do Unveil, the brown shade. My girl. This shade could I felt like could have been just a little bit deeper but I grew to really love this shade. And here is Breadwinner. I'm gonna swatch Breadwinner right next to that. And then we'll do Uncuffed. And I kind of feel like I should have got that lighter pink shade but I didn't think that would look right on me. To be honest, none of the dusty pinks ever look good on me and I, I want them to actually stop releasing dusty pinks. So these are all the shades, swatched side by side. Y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all think. I mean, come on, these two are the biggest difference here and I thought when I was in the store that this was gonna be like the same thing. I'm so happy that this is deeper than the original unveil, but even the reds, like the reds are giving similar, the pinks, similar, I'm tired. Is my lip product coming off? I can't tell, does it look opaque still? Uh-oh! I've been doing all this talking and like, <laughs> the color's not even there anymore because I did that freaking kiss test. And just that one little s touch on the napkin did this. The good news is that it layers well when you reapply. Now I'm curious to see how this is gonna wear because now I see that if it touches anything, it's gonna become a little bit patchy. The rant's over. Um, the bottom line is that this formula is very nice on the lips. I don't feel like they've come out with a bad lip product yet. This feels like a really good lip product. I can't judge what the wearability is like, how long it's gonna last, because this is a first impression. But what I can say is that every single one that I tried, the formula was consistent. If you already have the liquid lipstick or the stun lip paint, in similar colors or you already have the Icon Matte Lipstick, you don't need to buy this product. In my case, for my collection, this is redundant. Let me know if y'all are gonna pick this up or if you're just gonna leave it and wait for the next release. I'm not even gonna tell y'all to like, comment, and subscribe because people get mad when I rant, okay? So, you know, Doop. hit the button if you want to. But anyway, <laughs> couldn't resist. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my opinions and my rambling and my ranting. If you want to see more of me, check out some of my other videos that I've uploaded. I do have pretty good content here. It's not all ranting and rambling, I promise. But I'll see you guys in the next one. So my camera died, but I've had the lip color on for about 30 minutes maybe. Y'all saw me reapply the lip color, right? Well, it's patchy again right here. And I can't figure out what's going on right here. Y'all see that? What I'm thinking is that like after I did that blot test when I kissed it and then I showed you guys and I reapplied it, it's just not gonna lay back down. Like, you're just, what? <laughs> I don't even know if it's picking up on camera but right in the center of my lip, like the pigment is coming off. So that was just my little 30 minute check in we haven't even lasted a full hour. I'll tell you what, it would have never happened with the stun of lip paint. Not on my lips at least. So there, there's your update.